On Sunday, I attended a town hall meeting convened by 1LA, a group that brings together faith communities from different denominations across Los Angeles to pursue social justice. One key topic they raised is the issue of human trafficking, both its effect on its immediate victims and the impact of prostitution on neighborhoods. The group was very concerned about efforts to involve young girls in commercial sex activity and also very worried about the presence of used condoms and syringes on parkways in community neighborhoods. One thing's for sure, prostitution in so many cases is not a victimless crime. Our office is a leader on these issues nationally. And of course, there are very important issues here at home from Van Nuys to South LA. And today I want to talk to you about some of our more innovative efforts. For example, last month we launched Project Beacon. Project Beacon is a pilot project to identify and assist victims of human trafficking who've been arrested for prostitution and help them turn their lives around. Here's how it works. When the individual is first identified, she's screened to determine if, in fact, she is a human trafficking victim. And if she is, she gets services right away. But even if she's not, we're going to offer her an eight-session diversion program instead of traditional prosecution. And that program will be complemented with an array of services provided by nonprofit organizations, all designed to help her escape the sex trade. Um, if she completes the eight-session program, we won't prosecute. We're going to be evaluating the outcomes of Project Beacon, and if it is successful, as we hope it is, in breaking a cycle that simply leads women to return to the street, then we hope to expand it. There's our effort, along with the Los Angeles County Department of Diversion and Reentry, on Project LEAD, an effort that also just started. Now, Project LEAD targets homeless people who are abusing drugs or involved in prostitution. It offers immediate housing and other basic services like clothing and health care. And it might even offer mental health services and, and other ways to complement the help they're providing. All this instead of traditional prosecution for a universe of people who are simply going to return to the street unless we find some different ways to address their underlying issues. And then there's our teamwork with the nonprofit Journey Out and its crisis response team that responds to women who've been arrested for prostitution who it determines are in fact victims of human trafficking. The crisis response team works closely alongside law enforcement, uh, providing services and case management and mentorship immediately after somebody is arrested. But it also goes to the street, reaching out to sex workers and trying to find ways to take them away from the street, including providing temporary shelter to help them leave that life. In fact, Journey House Crisis Response Team even provides transportation to these women to go home again, and will pay to return them to Los Angeles if they're needed to testify against their trafficker or their pimp. All these innovative efforts, combined with our neighborhood prosecutor program's efforts on the streets to clean up neighborhoods where prostitution occurs make us a real leader in the country on these issues. I'm Mike Fewer, the Los Angeles City Attorney. Thanks for watching.